Now, going over to the business bull under the day, you have Dollar General fined $12 million for workplace safety violations. Now, this is brought to us thanks to Justin Franklin over at MPR, which is somehow still in business. Well, it is thanks to mostly our U.S. tax dollars. Now, pulling up the actual article here, you can see one of the iconic Dollar General stores with the jubilee of items outside, including those pool noodles, which in terms of ROI for research and development and manufacturing, I can't help but think they've been using the same machines for 20 or 30 or 40 years. I mean, not a lot of innovation, but maybe some might argue they just got it perfect right off the bat. Now, they say, quote, Dollar General has agreed to pay $12 million in penalties and improve safety at nearly 20,000 stores across the U.S. after claims that the discount retailer put employees in danger with his practices, according to the Labor Department. Now, they say that the agreement also outlines that Dollar General must correct any future safety violations regarding blocked exits or access to fire extinguishers and electrical panels within 48 hours or face lines up to $500,000 per violation. Which, knowing the U.S. government, where that money goes, buy down the toilet. Be fascinating to actually track that money if they were paying cash. Be like, where does this money go at the end of the day? We'd probably be sorely disappointed, but they say that the Assistant Secretary of the Labor for Occupation Safety and Health, Douglas Parker, said in a statement that the settlement oops, sorry, demonstrates Dollar General's commitment to making worker safety a priority, and they will implement, quote, significant and sig systematic changes in its operations. Which they say that, quote, since in January 2023, OSHA inspectors discovered that the discount retail chain continuously exposed its workers to unsafe conditions, unquote, in two stores and locations, uh, locations in Florida and one in Alabama. In July 2022, inspectors found that the merchandise blocked exit routes at the Dollar General store in Alabama. The chain at the time was racked up nearly $205,000 in fines, which... I mean, it is an interesting place to shop. I mean, it's kind of an obstacle course, which some might say is bad. Others might say it makes it a fun, interesting free or value add of like a theme park. Not only do you have to get your products, but you have to make your way out successfully. But in all, I mean, in all seriousness, they did, you know, again, they improperly blocked exits and safety equipment. And it's not too surprising given the resource constraints of the stores, because again, yeah, they usually have so much merchandise, they usually leave it in some of the aisles. Because again, if you want that lowest price point, you do have to have different resource allocation. So all these stores only have two to three employees. Seems like sometimes they just hide so you can't really find them. They're allegedly in the back, you know, somewhere doing something. But again, if there is an emergency, even though it might be a very, statistically speaking, the odds are very, very small that there will be an emergency. Nevertheless, if there is one, of course, it's going to be detrimental. So you have to take safety seriously. So again, Dollar General, they've had this issue for a while. Now they've got the this fine racked up to $12 million. I gotta say, that is certainly the business blunder of the day. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make sure better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.